G'day and welcome to this Australian Open Life. It's the Spotlight Series and today we're shining a spotlight on Wimbledon and the WTA Tour, the Australian women that will be playing in the first round at Wimbledon 2022. We'll just quickly run through them now in the intro. Alia Tomoljanovic, Jamie Fawless, Zoe Hives, Daria Saville, Astra Sharma and Madison Inglis and of course the one name missing that we all wish was there, the Australian Open champion from 2022, Ash Barty. She's retired and uh, boy who can take up that mantle. So what we'll be doing uh, is we'll be introducing you to those first round matches for each player. Uh, who they're up against, which players they're up against, their head-to-head -head record, uh, looking at uh, their run, run of form into Wimbledon, the last 10 matches, how their 2022's how they're going in terms of their win-loss stats, and just a little bit of, uh, you know, just a little bit of commentary around what we hope uh, to expect out of the results of those matches. Um, so strap yourselves in. It'll be uh, a, a fun little exercise. We'll be doing the men in other episodes coming up uh, today or tomorrow as well. Um, and for the moment, uh, we'll leave you with the sights, sounds, summer of Australia, uh, the Australian Open 2022. Don't go away, we'll be right back. And the first match kicking off our preview is Alia Tomoljanovic. She's up against the Swiss player, Jill Teichmann. Head to head, these players have never met before. Uh, Alia currently ranked uh, 45 in the world. She's been as high as 38. Pretty consistent there for the time being at 29 years of age. Uh, Jill Teichmann, she is currently ranked 23 has been as high as 22 so that would suggest she's in uh, really good form the 24 year old from Belgium um, and this is one of the most even matches uh, you'll find uh, leading off uh, kicking off the Wimbledon tournament um, now uh, the, uh, the the win loss stats they're, they're incredibly even in 2020 in 2022 uh, these two players have each played uh, around about uh, 35 to 40 odd matches this year um, uh, Tom Ljanovic coming in, only uh, lost uh, four of her last ten matches. Uh, the same for the Belgium. Uh, uh, so how are we going to pick a winner? Let's have a look at their grass court form. Um, five matches played by Tom Ljanovic on grass. Uh, she's got a 3-2 win-loss record. And uh, Jill Teichman yet to win a match on grass. So is that how we're going to separate them? I reckon it will because uh, the Aussies... Uh, love grass courts. Jill Teichman, she'll have, uh, she'll, um, she will have grown up on uh, clay courts and hard courts in Europe. Um, and uh, I'll, I'm going to go for Tom Ljanovic in this case. Um, 
hopefully she can uh, get through and get the win and uh, get things off to a good start for the Aussie contingent. Going into the next preview, it's Jamie Fawless. Uh, she's a real up-and-comer, uh, this 22-year-old. Uh, I think she's from Canberra. Um, now, head-to-head -head against her opponent, Kirsten Flipkins of Belgium. Uh, she's been around the traps for quite some time at the age of 36, but Flipkins uh, 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 got the win, the only time that they've met, and uh, she's currently ranked 257 in the world, has been as high as 13, so you'd suggest that she's, uh, um, uh, well, she's not hanging around just for the sake of it, but uh, that win on a hard court, uh, mind you, Jamie Fawless currently ranked 153, that's, as, that's her highest ranking to date for the 22-year-old, and in her last 10 matches, Fawless has only had one loss. She has had 36 wins uh, throughout the last 40-odd uh, matches she's played. And uh, she, you would have to suggest that on form, uh, she's got a real chance here against Flipkins. Um, because when you're young and you're, uh, you're hungry, uh, maybe that'll count against the experience and uh, the 36-year-old legs of Flipkins, who, although she's only lost three of her last 10 matches uh, and she does have uh, 12 wins out of her 20 odd matches so far in 2022 but you would suggest that um, uh, Jamie Fawless is coming in on pretty good form. She's only played three matches on grass this year but she's won all three and although Flipkins has played eight grass court matches in 2022 uh, you would suggest that uh, Fawless is in with a real chance this year. 20, at 22 years of age, she's uh, got a lot of experience um, uh, playing internationally now. She's had uh, got those two hard years of COVID behind her. Um, and uh, compared to her 2021 form, uh, well, she didn't really, <laughs> she wasn't really um, uh, uh, able to participate much on the tour last year. Um, she just played the one match and, uh, and that was a loss. And, uh, and then we'll be right back after some sights, sounds, summer of tennis. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Coming up next in our preview of the Aussie women at Wimbledon 2022, Zoe Hives. And guess who she's drawn? Uh, you couldn't wish for a, uh, a harder first round match than Maria Sakari. Come on, she's ranked number five in the world. She's been as high as three, and we all know her credentials. She's yet to crack it for a Grand Slam win, but she's uh, played a couple of Grand Slam finals, and you would suggest that uh, more titles uh, and that maiden Grand Slam title are ahead for Maria Sakari, but that's that's not to discount Zoe Hives. Um, although she's ranked at uh, 572, now you've got to take into account that some of these rankings are a bit misleading because some of the Aussies found it really hard during um, during the uh, the two years when we were all under the thumb of COVID. It was really hard for the Aussies to get out and around and, and play on the circuit. So 572, don't take that as a pure reflection of uh, the, the, uh, the form and prospects of Zoe Hives because she has been as high as 140 in the world. And when the pandemic hit, she was probably about to uh, really get the gears going with her career at 23. And uh, the, those couple of years have passed by. So at 25, the best is still ahead for Zoe. And uh, she's only been able to play uh, around 10 matches in 2022 and uh, she's only won five of those matches whereas Maria Sakari is uh, uh, firing on all cylinders. She's uh, won 25 of her last 40 or so matches. Now on the grass court, this is the stat that I like to focus on. 
uh, uh, Sakari has had, had the benefit of playing eight matches on grass. She's won five of them. Zoe Hives has won both of her grass court matches, so surely she's got to take a bit of confidence out of that, that uh, perhaps she's been preparing for Wimbledon, and mentally she will have been as well, because we know how much every Aussie player loves to fire up for Wimbledon. So uh, let's, let's not... Um, Let's not uh, uh, let's not um, count Zoe Zoe out just yet. And uh, surprisingly, this match will take place only on court two. So uh, so there's a chance there that you know the, the high ranked players like like the like the the, the, the big occasion on centre court and the other show courts. So maybe Zoe's in with a chance, and uh, with a bit of luck, there'll be a few Aussies in the crowd as well. And also look out for our other upcoming series on uh, Wimbledon, uh, Stripped of Rankings Points. Uh, we're going to be presenting uh, some episodes looking into the circumstances and the uh, ramifications, consequences. A little bit of the fallout from that decision by uh, Wimbledon uh, and then uh, how the, uh, the player tours reacted um, uh, to that decision and also coming up after Wimbledon uh, leading into the US Open uh, we're going to be looking at the topic of mental health and how uh, professional tennis players uh, down the rankings um, uh, how those players on the on the challenger and ITF circuits deal with being uh, players traveling around the world looking to rack up rankings points so they can forge their way into the, the, uh, the grand slams and, and the challenges they deal with thanks for listening thanks for watching You're listening to This Australian Open Life. You can watch on uh, watch us on the internet all over the world from anywhere you are. And we've also got our podcast going, of course, uh, hosted by Acast. But you can find us on Spotify, on uh, uh, all those <laughs> channels, the names which just escaped me, isn't that hopeless? But you can find us on wisewords.com.au. Uh, you can find the podcast and uh, listen from the comfort of your lounge room, your laptop, your mobile, when you're on the train, when you're on the plane, anywhere in the world, this Australian Open Life will be pleased and happy to keep you company. joining us on this Australian Open Life. You've been listening to me, <laughs> the, the bloke who walks, sometimes known as the bloke who bangs on a bit. We're based in Melbourne, Australia. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please keep following. Keeps, we, we please keep enjoying <laughs> these episodes. And enjoy the tennis. We hope you're having a great, uh, a great um, uh, time keeping an eye on these uh, elite international tennis players. So uh, that about wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed that that very rudimentary summary. <laughs> I'm not going to pat myself on the back about the, the quality of this episode. Um, it was really just about bringing together all those names uh, of all those players and uh, just letting you know that that's where things are at. Because, uh, you know, we live in a digital age, but it's actually sometimes not that easy to find all this, this information. And the Christmas New Year's break, I mean, who wants to spend all their time uh, looking at endless streams of uh, apps and websites and, um, you know, so let us do all the hard work for you. Uh, that's what we're here for. And um, it's so um, very much appreciated that uh, we're finding out that uh, from most of the viewers, uh, whether it's by comments or likes or subscriptions, that uh, this Australian Open Life is uh, hitting the mark for you.
you've been listening to Bloke Who Walks. This was our Wild Cards episode of the Spotlight series. Have a great new year. Thanks for listening and we'll chat to you very soon. Bye for now. Based in Melbourne, Australia, this Australian Open Life is produced by Wise Words Media and Calumny Films.